with a price of more than $700,000 a year per patient. The ministry is strongly objecting to the excessive pricing Alexion, the pharmaceutical company, has set for Solaris. We know that Alexion is charging Canadians about 21% more than other countries, such as the United Kingdom. I note that Alexion has reported cumulative Solaris revenues from 2010 to the third quarter of 2017 of $14.2 billion. In September 2017, the Patent Re Medicines Price Review Board found that the price Alexium Pharmaceuticals set for its drug is excessive. In order the company to pay back excessive revenues and lower its price to match the lowest of the other comparator countries. Just to put this in context, this is a, obviously uh, a matter that affects some of the most vulnerable people. And the national agency responsible has found the prices charged by this pharmaceutical company as excessive. We understand that Alexian will be appealing the review board's decision, and BC will be seeking a role as an intervener in that appeal. We would also strongly encourage our partner jurisdictions and patient groups to lend their voice to this as well. The health of our public drug plans and our ability to help patients and families is dependent on us working together to hold companies such as Alexian accountable for the outrageous prices they set. Decisions such as this have significant cost implications that affect our ability to support all patients in British Columbia. We will continue to take action, however, to protect rare disease patients and public funders from exorbitant drug costs. With, the, with this comprehensive, further comprehensive look at the issue, I feel we've made the right decision for British Columbia under these circumstances, and I invite your questions.